So let's open up my project pane here. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my media tab and I'm going to drag in a texture. And I'm going to use this texture here. You know, here's these textures. Here's the texture I'm using right here. Um, these textures were found at cgtextures.com. Wonderful, wonderful website. Check them out if you need some textures. So let's go back to our layers tab and in a group, let's go to our library, generators, and let's import our clouds. Apply. Now we have these clouds. Let's bring up our HUD and do some adjustments. Let's make our horizontal scale a little bigger, our vertical scale a little bigger. Let's turn our speed up and let's make our first layer strength. I'm going to make this a little softer than normal. Like so. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now when we play it, we have these clouds. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to add a filter to my clouds. So go to Add Filter, Distortion, Glass Distortion. Now we have a glass distortion filter on our clouds here. But nothing is happening as you can see. So let's go to our inspector and in the map image glass distortion well, go to your media tab and drag in your texture. There, and now as you can see this is what we got. So you can take our scale up or down. Let's bring it up. And the amount like this. And now when we play this, you can see what we got. Almost like an ice lock effect. Okay. So now let's go back to our layers. We have that. So now let's add another group. Now let's add a lot. Let's switch to 3D. Yes, now we have a lot. Let me go in here and mess with my intensity a little bit. bring our fall off down like so and that looks pretty good and we'll park it up here let's take our intensity down a little bit it's a little, a little bright and we'll park it up here over here it's still a little bright let's bring the intensity down a little more okay that looks pretty good now what we're going to want to do is we're going to add a basic blur. Let's go ahead and put our light in our group. Okay. Now inside the same group, I'm going to go to my library, content, and I'm going to type in basic blur. And there's our basic blur. I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it right on top of where I want it here. Say right there. Now there's our basic blur. Now if I turn the light off, you can't really actually see it um, because it's just a round white blur you really can't see much of it uh, that's what it looks like right there so select our basic blur go to our inspector and under lighting drop down and turn the shading off and there that um, turns our little blur there now you can see our blur okay so I'm going to shrink it down like so let's put it back in the middle here okay now we have our basic blur so now let's go to our light and let's change our light color to some kind of a blue looks good now as you can see we have this effect here so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to my basic blur, I'm going to park it where I want everything here, let's put our group, let's put it off the screen. As you can see my light follows my basic blur because they're both in the same group and I'm moving the group. Let's put it up off the screen here. Let's go to our basic blur and let's add a motion path. So go to add behavior, basic motion, motion path. It'll give us a motion path here. You can see. I'm going to drag it down here. Uh, double click on my line to get some points in there. Give it some kind of path to follow. Like so. Okay. Now that we've got our motion path, I'm going to go to our properties and under our position. As you can see when I scroll through, this basic blur follows that motion path. So I'm going to go to our position, right click, and add a wriggle. 
Now this wrigglers our light up a whole lot as you can see. You can you can adjust from you can adjust your amount how much you want it. You can adjust your frequency, how uh, staticky you want it, and your noisiness and all that good stuff. Okay, so now that we have our motion path set up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a match move to our light. You see, match moves can be used for more than just tracking. I want my light to match the movement of our basic blur. So I'm gonna select my light, add behavior, motion tracking, match move, and in my match move well, I'm gonna drag my basic blur into. And now when I play this, as you can see, our light follows right along with our wriggle and ends up down there on the bottom where we wanted it to. Okay. So now, let's close this up and let's duplicate this group. Command, select it and hit Command D. And let's drag it over here. Like this. And if we play it, now as you can see, we got, we got two of them. So, let's pause this. Let's go into our copied group, our basic blur motion path. And let's change it up a little like this here. We'll have it end up right about there. Now when I play this, we have them on separate paths. And you can have as many of these as you want. Okay? So now, let's add some text. Let's add another group. And to this group, let's go down here to the end. Let's see, go to the beginning, I guess. And to this group, let's add text. I'm just going to type in emix77. Now we go to the end here. There's our text. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's make it bold. Like that. Now, what we're going to do to this is add a glass distortion to it. So let's grab our text, go to add filter, distortion, glass distortion. Now let's go to our media and drop our same <clears throat> texture in there. Now as you can see we have this. Let's go back to our layers. Go to our text. Let's, let's um, add a drop shadow. Like so. Now let's get our glass distortion effect here. And let's animate it a little bit. So I'm going to hit my record button, park it at the beginning. And I'm going to take my playhead to the end. And move this glass distortion just a tad. Like so. Just to make it moving a little. So now this is going to come down here. And it's going to highlight our text. There's our Emix 77. Okay. So now, let's, if we wanted to, we can duplicate our text. If you want to, go back to the beginning. And now we have two texts. You can fool around with your um, blend modes and stuff if you wanted to. There's all kinds of different blend modes from add, there's add, color dodge pin light. So let's keep it on overlay. Okay. So now all we need to do let's just add a camera and let's go to the beginning and we'll add a behavior. Camera behavior we'll say sweep and about the end we'll make it about 17 instead of 30. Now that plays through here. So we'll come down and we'll see our text. Let's go now. Let's select our basic blurs. Let's select our motion path. And let's shorten it a little bit. Let's have it go out. I'll hit the O key right there. Now let's select the other motion path on the other text. Basic blur, I mean, hit out. That way the text is, the lots are down at the bottom there and we can look at the name as it goes.